Welcome to the energy vibration reading for all the Leos, uh, um, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign out there. This is the energy vibration for the week uh, um, number 28. It is the second week of June 2016, and it is the week of the Wheel of Fortune, which is wonderful. This Wheel of Fortune, or you guys, the fire sign, it's a wonderful week for you. Success, abundancy. All that you need is coming in in this week. It is a it's a more feminine energy week, so be aware of that. But it's good. It's like motherly feeling, and um, because we have the um, the moon and the eye princess is here, and we have the um, emperor also, and we have the lovers. There's a lot of feminine energies in this week. Use the energies and. If you have a situation to solve with a, a female counterpart, your mother, your sister, or your daughter, or your aunt, um, please use this week to balance the karmatic situation. Because whatever situation we have in our lives, it's karmatic lessons that we are supposed to learn, and their karmatic situation that comes that we need to balance the karmas. So, um, the number energy of the week is the number one. So be aware. It's new beginning. It's your willpower. It's your will craft. Okay. Um, when we look at Monday, it's another double number. It's the 11th. So it's a good day for manifestation. And you're in the, 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 the week of the Wheel of Fortune. So it's wonderful for you, Leo's. On Tuesday, the Wheel of Fortune comes in. So if you were planning something and you wanted something, Tuesday is going to be a good day. Do it because the Wheel of Fortune is here and it is a yes. Um, as we look at the middle of the week on Wednesday, the Eye Princess is here. You Leos are not connecting because the Eye Princess keep on coming back. And you need to connect with yourself so that you can deal with all the situations that are happening around you. On Thursday the 14th, the Empress comes in and you will receive an abundancy and whenever she comes she 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 brings a lot of abundance it's like all the stuff that you're um who i'm getting that you know it can be somebody who out there who is pregnant or is, somebody is going to find out about someone who is pregnant so i'm not sure cuz the empress is here okay as we look at friday the emperor is here which is a wonderful fire energy vibration and as i'm looking at this i'm getting pregnancy so i don't know if you leos out there are pregnant or uh, pregnancy can real pregnancy with a child but it can also be um you are about um you you are full of creative ideas and they're about uh, um, to come out like the universe is about to you know like uh, if you're doing something sales or something like that it will be just um, wonderful because the energies are here and the universe is going to help you to get your business started for the kids who are watching this if you have done exam or you're about to do exam you're going to get a very positive feedback it also has to do with a relationship and a partner in your life and if you're having a situation with it is a karmatic um situation it is a karmatic lesson that you need to learn and you need to balance whatever it's going on there's a lot of feminine energies so um accept it it could be your kids as you are a man it's a lot of feminine energies going on here so it's a week where you be um having situation with a lot of women if you're a man and if you're a woman, it's a fertile week for you guys. So be careful if you are uh, that you don't get pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant because it's a very fertile week for you guys. As we look at Saturday, it's a lot of um, the elephant is here. You'll be dealing with a, a karmatic situation with this group of people, or um, it's a group of people, you know. Be open to whatever is going on and don't use your ego go in you know for you leos you have little two little angels you have the ego and you have yourself you know connect with yourself with this one do not create more karma for yourself okay you leos 
All righty. Um, the overall energy of the week is the Angman, and the Angman is here, and it's just your. As I've said, don't use the ego. Tell the ego goodbye. I release the ego, okay? And just balance. Do not create any more karmas for you, um, okay? Because this week is a lot of feminine energy, so don't create any more karma. Just be um, be balanced with what you're doing. You know, think of the other person's feelings before you go, you're going to do anything in this week, um, your best day is on Tuesday and on Friday. So, you know, um, I, you guys are really, you know, there is luck on your side this week. Use the energies. The overall energies was the hangman, but the hangman energies comes in, which is good because whenever we work things and we, um, whenever we work out things in our lives and we, kind of you know just um release things so that new things will come in when we release something we always need to have time to um think about what is the next strategy why where are we going what should we do what is the plan what is the next plan so it's a good time to take that in consideration and the overall energies is the week of the number 28. And the energy of the week is victory. And whenever this, this is one of the most beautiful cards in the energies. And thanks to Colette Barrett. I have been using all of her cards, all of the energies um, from her. And it's wonderful because you have victory and success. So if it's your birthday this week, you have victory and success for all the rest of the sign. Um, expect that things will be clearing up and things will be good. We're moving on to the next um, Oracle and it is building blocks. The number 28 cards from the Oracle. And this means that whatsoever you I've been doing, I've been starting, whether it's in a work or whether um, it's for yourself and in a situation, the, 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 the foundation that you're building, it's going to be a very strong foundation. So it's going to be extremely wonderful for you guys. Okay. If you're having birthdays, this is a wonderful card um, to say that whatsoever and people who are starting something in this month, um, it's going to be a very strong foundation. Um, foundation so build on it next card we have it's from the map and it's the number 28 energies and it says movement so you know like for um some people who who had felt stuck it's like the 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 universe brings in the energy on moving you out of being feel stuck in where you were and it's clearing up so there's movement you know you're not stuck at where you was and nothing wasn't happening there's a lot of movement coming in and the energies are going to clear out so that you can um, move on to a much higher vibration We go on to the last card, and that is the energy of the wisdom from the hidden room. And it says the high princess, and it says um, ideas, persevere, and enlightenment. And this is wonderful because, um, yeah, you know, sometimes I've always said it, sometimes we feel like we're not moving. Some people know how to work the energies and some people can move. But sometimes there are other people in their life that, and this is a time which is karma clearing. So, you know, not all situations are perfect and not all situation, um, a lot of stuff goes on in people's life and whether or not we want to accept it and we want to um, understand what's going on. And whenever you, you are stuck, it's because you're not going with the flow. It's like you see that something isn't working, but you're trying to hold on to it. Whenever you are at the point and you see that something isn't working and you're holding on to it, then it creates obstacles in your life. So you need to just let go of things when they're not working and walk away. It is better to always walk away because there is always a saying, when one door is closed, another is open. 
And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for this wonderful, um, the energies, the love and light that you guys have sent to me. And I'm sending you just a lot of love and light. And I want to say namaste until next week.